As most of you know, the COD Zombie storyline has gone on a bit of a decline recently after ending at Metallic Potosian, so I have decided that I was going to debunk the area side of the storyline. For those that don't know, there are radios that are all over the world at war and black as one versions of the reefs, and they uncover some story to the map and what actually happened on the reefs. Sophia, this letter is to go to the Reichstag High Command immediately. Gentlemen, it is with the utmost urgency that I draw your attention to the lack of funding being injected into the giant project. While I believe we are close to realizing the ultimate plan, we still have several years of development before it is ready. It would be folly to cut our expenditure so early in our development. As you know, early tests on the DG2 have easily outperformed expectations, and we fully anticipate mass-producing the Wunderwaffe within the next few years. Work on the matter transference has, however, come to a standstill. We simply do not have enough Element 115 to continue the experiments. The test subjects have survived the teleportation, but are currently unresponsive to commands and cannot be controlled. If we are to overcome this obstacle, we need to increase the frequency and size of the experiment. To this end, I suggest we find not only a regular supply of 115, but that we also find a larger conduit to channel the energy. Our operatives in America have informed us that the U.S. has a large supply of the element at the Nevada base. So time is of the essence if we are to stay ahead of them. This cannot be done if you cut the budget, nor can it be done if you insist on pressuring us into action before we are ready. I am, of course, available for discussion on the matter, but in the meantime, I will continue with the work here and try to win this damned war. Signed, etc., etc., Dr. Maxis. So from this audio, you can hear that Maxis is talking to a Sophia about the recent cut-off of funding from the giant project. So they resorted to experimenting with the Wonder Wolf and mass producing them, but holding them back with the lack of any mint one one time. He also stated with the experiments with subject, using the chemicals to which have survived and are unresponsive to the command given by Dr. Maxis. Stand up. STAND UP! Good. Look at me. Over here! Good. Now walk forward. Excellent! Further. Keep coming. It's alright! Stay there. Calm down! I order you! Kill it! Bring me another! In this radio, we can hear that Max has started experimenting with the undead, which ends with someone being left in an unknown condition. The zombie is given simple commands to which are followed by it to a certain extent. In my opinion, this is similar to the Russian sleep experiment, which in greater detail will be explained on the Dark Wolfish channel. Now, you must be very diligent, Mr. Samantha. Owning a dog is a great responsibility. Yes, Father. Oh, I love her. You must feed her every day and walk her and be very careful when you play with her. You know she's going to have puppies. Really? Can I keep the puppies too, Father? We'll see, Samantha. One step at a time. In this radio, Maxis is heard giving Samantha a dog, which is later known as Patient Zero of the Hellhounds. She promises to take care of the dog and asks about puppies, to which Maxis said, we will see. But I'm all out of hope. Auf Wiedersehen, my friend. Warning! The shield is now active. Damn it! I can't find my pills. They are coming. We must do what I must do. God forgive us all. Now this one will be covered in more detail in episode 3. In this radio you can hear a note from Dr. Porter saying goodbye as an alarm goes off. 
Later in the video you hear the sound of a chair moving and someone choking, so therefore this could be the confirmed death of Dr. Porter. Gentlemen, allow me to take this opportunity to welcome you to Group 935. This is a prestigious moment in the history of our race. You represent the future of technological advancement. You are the pioneers of human discovery. In your hands lies the destiny of mankind. In our hands is a great power, and with that power comes a price. You have volunteered to be part of this great experiment, and with that decision comes the responsibility of absolute secrecy. No one is to know what you do, where you work, what our research has uncovered, or what our purpose will be. You will have no further contact with your governments or with your families. Your decision to fully dedicate your lives to Group 935 is absolute. In your lockers, you will find your field ops manual, which will direct you should our manifesto get compromised. We cannot afford to let this power fall into the wrong hands, and therefore, the field ops manual should be considered your Bible. Make your preparations now. A new dawn is beginning for mankind. In this radio, you hear the introduction to joining Group 935, which is a secret research team of scientists experimenting with human life. Whilst being part of this group, you have to keep absolute secrecy. If the info was leaked, you would have been a test subject to the project. Initiating test number three. Subject is within the test chamber. Activate power. In this recording is a conversation between Maxis and Richard and talking about a first test subject, which could be an experiment with the teleporters. Edward, tie the damn thing down! We can't have it running around during the test! It's tied down now, Dr. Maxis. Initiating test number five. Subject is within the test chamber. Activate power. Searching for Vitus. No reading, Doctor. The subject has disappeared. Dr. Maxis, we've done it! Don't be foolish! Test number five is unsuccessful. Subject has vanished, yes, but has not reappeared at the mainframe. Recalibrate the damn system! Now! From this recording, you can hear that there is a dog being pressed by the second of The dog is fluffy. Initiating test number six. Subject is within test chamber. Activate power. Damn it, Edward! Did you set up the device correctly? Yes, Doctor. As per your specifications. If you had done it to my specifications, then it would have worked, wouldn't it? As usual, your incompetence has... What? Do you hear that, Doctor? Quiet, you fool! Test number six is a failure, but the experiment has caused some kind of electrical force to energize within the chamber. Well, open the door! Doctor, I don't think... Open the door! Now! Daddy, what are you doing with Fluffy? Damn it, Samantha, I told you never to come in here! Edward, get her out of here! Yes, Doctor. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Daddy, what did you do? Fluffy! Come back here! Samantha! Stop her! Easy! Come here, Samantha. Good girl, Flossie. Gently, Samantha. That's not Flossie anymore. We must get out of here. What? Edward, what are you doing? Open the door! Edward! Open this door now! I'm scared! Don't go! Stay by me, Samantha! Goodbye, Dr. Maxis. 
<laughs> In this recording, we hear the aftermath of Samantha's dog Fluffy being teleported behind Samantha's back. However, when she returns, she has changed. She has become a hellhound. Samantha then finds out her way into the testing area and sees what Fluffy has become. Taking this opportunity, Richtoff and Seal Samantha, Fluffy, and Dr. Maxis all within the teleport and send them away, leaving them to bed. That is all the radios on Doris. Be sure to stay updated because there will be more to this series, and a big thanks to the Dark Author for helping me write this script.